Uh, I think this bill was flawed, and that's why I oppose it. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I call uh, Materia Toure. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. The Green Party supports this bill uh, because the Official Information Act is a critical part of a, our democracy, um, and that has been dis discussed in uh, New Zealand political and legal circles now for a very long time. The issue is that cost. The cost of investigation and the cost of the office should um, not hinder the transparency that we value as part of our democracy um, and should not hinder good governance. And if it does, we need to address that. And I think this bill is one small step towards helping to address the concern that cost constraints hinder our democracy, um, uh, reduce the transparency of our government. Um, and citizens deserve much better than that. So history <coughs> in recent times, uh, various ombudsmen over the years um, have raised very serious concerns with Parliament, with MPs over a number of years about uh, a failure by government departments in particular, um, driven largely by the political um, will, if you like, or the political intentions of the ministers um, at the head of those departments. Um, that those departments have not responded to the Official Information Act uh, in a way that is in line with the spirit of the law um, and indeed with the letter of the law. Uh, and that is a real concern when government departments are refusing to engage with the OIA as it was um, designed to provide information to citizens. Uh, we've had one um, ombudsman describe it as a paralysis of democracy the hindrance that government departments um, put in place, the barriers that government, put, government departments put in place to, for citizens accessing information to which they are entitled, um, that the delays have operated as a paralysis of democracy. Um, so we've had uh, concerns um, in more recent times where uh, the almost Busman, um, Beverly, uh, oh, Margaret Basley, Beverly Wakeham, um, has described the lack of funding and the inability for the office to be able to deal with the level of complaints that they get as appalling. Um, there was one description uh, by an ombudsman um, as that, that we may as well kiss democracy goodbye if the OIA doesn't work properly. I mean, these are very serious concerns by those who are running these offices and who are responsible for protecting the right of citizens to information from their government about the decisions that their governments make. We've had the Prime Minister a previous Prime Minister of, national, of a national government uh, admit that government departments that he knows of uh, deliberately delay the release of information to citizens. Um, contrary to the letter of the law, I mean, it's not even a breach of the spirit of the law, it's contrary to the letter of the law. The Prime Minister has had no, con no problems uh, with the idea that government departments are breaching the law in order to provide political protection to the ministers who are making decisions. So we have to be, you know, um, colleagues um, from National have painted quite a rosy picture of the situation with the Official Information Act, but in fact um, the picture is much worse when you're talking to the people who are engaged in the process. So uh, the Prime Minister in question, um, John Key, who admitted to uh, accepting that government departments would deliberately delay information in order to protect the political interests of the National Party ministers. Um, they used to also say, nothing to fear, nothing to hide. <laughs> so, well, <laughs> so on the one hand, you know, arguing that uh, if they had nothing to fear, they had nothing to hide. On the other hand, celebrating the fact, celebrating the fact that um, government departments deliberately delay information. So, so this bill <coughs> is simply a means Thank you, Mr. Speaker, to ensure that government departments have an incentive to follow the law because they do not want to be um, suffering financial penalties as a result um, or having to bear the cost of those investigations. An incentive to uh, work with the office to make sure that the investigations that the um, um, office is engaged in uh, proceed quickly and openly and transparently as they are required to do under law. It's actually very much a kind of national, kind of corporate, um, kind of neoliberal approach, actually, to make those departments pay <laughs> for the cost. It's actually, I'm surprised that uh, National is opposing it. It's very much within the value set of the National Party. I'm kind of surprised by it. But, sir, so it is actually quite a small measure to provide that incentive for government departments to meet the requirements of the law and act um, 
in service to the New Zealand public who deserve information that, is, that they are entitled to in a timely and reasonable way and is not being withheld Sorry, because of the political interests of the Minister's concerned. Thank you, Mr Chair. Mr Speaker. Uh, Mr. Speaker. I call Todd Muller. Uh, thank you, Mr Speaker. And